must be Anna and yourself. Have you got to sing? You tell us what you um, I'd like to start with uh, La Romance d'Ariel uh, by Debussy. did you get up this morning? Um, about 10. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
what else? Uh, what what is your sort of chosen preferred repertoire? What do you what do you like? What do you like singing? Bel canto. I really like bel canto. Right. No, I'm just I'm just curious. It's interesting. Uh, Every now and then, I'm just worried that you put a lot of... I'm not going to tell you how to sing, because I don't, really don't know how to sing. I'm still trying to find out. Uh, uh, but I, I, the, the, the extent to which you open your mouth oh, yeah, it's, it's is, little, is quite, yeah, is quite yeah. big. I need to, yeah. You, you do know that. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I think you could, you, it would help you, and it would help your singing as well, if you just try to reduce that. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to, you see. Yeah. And of course, the other thing that happens, uh, as soon as you do that, the, the rest of the face goes, <laughs> and, yeah. and it's, it's, it, yeah. it, 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 you really don't need that. So that's, it's it creating, it, yeah. it creates, it distorts, mm -hmm. but it creates tension. Okay. It would be lovely to get rid of that tension. Yeah. And it, it would help. There are two or three moments when you have um, combinations of triplets. It's when there's a pair of triplets in particular. I'd love you to feel there's a great, greater freedom uh, with, with, with the aerial notes at that moment. Yeah. Each time it arrives, it's like a, it's within the song, it's a kind of staging post. You've got all of the other stuff you do, and then suddenly we settle on and they all have a, I think they have a particular character at each moment as they come along. Yeah. There's one towards the end there. And I think it would just give you a greater freedom to explore some yeah. of those. But it's beautiful. I mean, you know, there's, there's so little I would like to do. There was, a, there was an occasion se several years ago here when I was working with a young baritone. And uh, he sang a song. And then he sang, I said, sing another song. And he sang another song. And I said, sing another song. <laughs> So he sang about three or four songs, and I said, I'm sorry, I can't find anything to say. <laughs> but I've already said things, so we, we've made a start. I've improved on, on, that, on that situation. Can we start it again? Yeah, sure. Tell me how you feel about the, uh, the, the Ariel and, uh, and, 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 uh, and, and, w and what this is about. What, uh, what, what are you trying to tell us? Um, so for me, it's sort of, I'm calling to this sort of fairy... Um, the aerial. I think it's also to do with the, the tempest because I talk about Miranda, yes. the sweet Miranda, and her, yes. her beautiful hair. And it I'm is that aerial of which we speak. Yeah. And um, so I'm just sort of conjuring this up, um, and also to do with the tempest. That kind of the like we talk about the sea and how the sea. You know, when it's dark, um, it, we make it makes us feel sad because the sea sort of reflects the sky. But when it's light, it makes us feel really happy. So we have that sort of happiness, sadness sort of balance. Yes. Yes, in the middle section. all of that, good, good. All right, let's do it again. I'm getting all of that. Okay. Anna, can we, just, can we just not be taken by surprise? Oh, okay. Let's get, that, let's get that established right from the start. So that when you, ba 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 oh, no, so that it's already there and yes. prepared. That's the first one. And it's, the, it's, it's as though Debussy gives you the de as a, as a preparation, an upbeat for the and wait for it. It's, it's a kind of preparation for it. Can you try and use it in that way? Yeah. And set it up? Yeah, yeah. I, I, think that's what he, I think that's what he means by it. Yeah. Just once more. That's nice. I think it just gets rather mellifluous and all, all rather merged in one, one yeah. to the other. Have you heard, have you ever listened to Régine Crespin? Oh uh, yeah, that's why. You have? Yeah. Because I, I, the reason I'm saying that, I think quite often we tend to blur French text because we think this is the nature of it. But I was funny enough, somebody sent me a, 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 a film of, of Crespin singing uh, Berlioz the other day and I, w I was watching it and the text is wonderful in a way that I've not heard any French singer other than Robert Massard, perhaps, and Bachier sing text. We tend not to have that amount of clarity or texture in it. I mean, real texture in, in the text. 
interesting choice of words, but there we are. But a, 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 a greater enjoyment of it, and so that we really do get it. You can afford to do that without disturbing it. Yeah, yeah. Um, can we pick it up from Der Ton Delicat? Sorry to stop you, but I think you could still do more. What's it again? It doesn't have the uh, quite as much texture uh, or, or uh, French quality to it that I would like. Okay. Not quite as much. Yeah. As I would like. Okay. Can we pick, let's pick, pick it up from the same place. Could you make, could you give me more two? Two? Yeah. yeah. Really, if nothing else, if I could get that two, it would be, uh, I would say, oh yes, I know what that is, yes. I yeah. recognize that word. Just can we pick it up from there? Is that a hideous thing to ask you to do? <laughs> to do. Yeah. Anyway, so you went and then set it up. So so again we get to that moment. But as you, the charmer, the artist, the sorceress, but as you, the charmer, the artist, the sorceress, use that set up there. You should breathe. I don't know. Why oh no, no, do you Yeah, of course. Why, why not? Because I'm not going to disturb you. Yeah, but do, don't breathe in order that you can get the word in quickly and get on with it. Yeah. It still, sh it still should have that sense of calming effect somehow. Or um, now I'm going to turn this phrase for you in a quite, quite different way. <laughs> It should still have that quality, I think. Okay. Don't use the breath as an es escape es or an excuse okay. to, to be able to sing the prayer. That's not what I'm talking about. It's just to set, set the thing up with that quality yeah. of on deux in yeah. particular. Um, de more to the front of the mouth there okay. so that it doesn't get swallowed up and become big 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 sounds okay, yeah. uh, one of the things we have to do as singers what we, you, you're not necessarily aware of it but what you what you're doing is filtering moments of your singing as to whether it requires you know the big statement return I mean shit on now if whatever words I sing there it really doesn't matter because I mean the big thing is to sing a big phrase. Whereas at other times it might be. I'm not worried about you know. You're not getting Aida there. You're getting just some very fine, delicate, uh, intricate text. There's a there's a case to be made for the text at that moment. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know why I chose Ritorno Vinci Tor. It's not one of my pieces, but there we are. It's the one that came to mind at that moment. Uh, can we give it, uh, Ian? Would you give us that little interlude before? Miranda. Miranda. 
Play with that text. That's exactly what I mean. Yeah. So that it really comes to the fore. It's not. It's not. That you're not involved at that particular moment in the business of making sound. At other times you are. Yeah. Uh, but this. It, this needs to be spoken on clearly and delicately on the tips. Yeah. You know, on the on the lips rather. Uh, same thing, please. <laughs> Let's play with the text here again. Le, from, from the phrase uh, Les Points d'Or. Can we eat the tes cheveux? Les Points d'Or de tes cheveux. Les Points d'Or de tes cheveux. The fact that you're talking about point and, and that they're door, they have a, a, a metallic quality to them. Les Points d'Or de tes cheveux. I think it would be lovely if you really made them scintillate. Yeah. And similarly, I think with what the phrase, the, um, not the next bar, but the bar after that, tout ton passage est Yeah. Uh, could, could do with a little more clarity too. Okay. It's, it's dipping in and out of where these things work. The, the, the one in between, Les Clochettes de Digital. Les Clochettes de Digital. It's spread somehow. There's the space for that. Whereas I think in between, the first one, Les Pointes d'Or, and the one afterwards, uh, Sur ton passage et t'interrompt, yeah. both have that kind of glistening quality. So it, it seems to me. Yeah, yeah. Can we pick it up just, be, or let's go back to the, um, your little interlude there. Um, would, would you mind, Ian? the top. Can we use it, 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 it? It's coming out like tin at the moment. <laughs> can, you, can you find a real golden quality? Oh, yeah. you know, so just respect gold as it goes by. Girls do, I find. <laughs> not true, not true. <laughs> uh, je veux qu'il fasse assez de brise. Can we pick it up from there? Got it. Absolutely terrific. The rise, everything else, the chromatic sound, absolutely wonderful. Um, Tinteron, can, can we get can close that one just down ever so slightly uh, so that we, we, we get a real closed feeling on it? And then you get into the triplets after that, which is a real sort of sp Spanish dance almost, isn't it? Yeah. Ba, 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 bum, bum, ya, da, da, da. Use it before you move on into the next series. Uh -huh. that, those first two phrases that are uh, kind of dance like really smooch them along, can you? <laughs> what better way can I say that? Uh, <laughs> but they, they just need that smoochy cabaret quality somehow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can we pick it up from Sur ton passage de Tinteron?
What happens? Terrific, yeah. lovely, really lovely. What happens when you're under Soule Feuillage normally? I'll go What's it? First. Yeah, yeah. What's it like? Okay. Why do you go under Soule? Uh, why, why do you go Soule Feuillage? To, to get some shade. Yeah. Can we? Can we? You can bring that down even shade here. I think. Yeah. With the shade comes a cooler quality too. Yeah. So that we can. Boy, boy, boy. So I think we, we can go right into that. Yeah. We've we've gone scintillating, and you've gone crazy up up to D flats and all sorts of things. So uh, let's 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 just bring it back to the to the calm of the un peu plus long. Can we pick it up from there, Ian? I won't ask you to sing the high D's flats. Ba ba ba. Maybe could you could you uh, sorry sorry could, could you set that up more for us Ian? Do you think ba 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 so that we get that cooler feeling coming into the into the accompaniment as well? Halfway somewhere halfway through the bar, I think. The fact that it goes sorry the fact that it goes an octave down, I think, is significant in itself. Yeah. There's that that raised quality of da 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 do 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 so. I just love you to close down on Blondira, yeah. really make it close, so that before you make the interval, ma before you uh, sing that interval, so uh, we've really got to establish with Blondira, so there is a real, uh, uh, I don't know what is, it, what is it, it's a cool colour on on that on that particular on that particular F at the yeah. bottom there, and then you could just make us wait if you want to, Blondira. Don't make it, you, you make it sound so easy. <laughs> Don't make it so easy. Make us wait for some of these things. It, it helps sometimes. You know, uh, we're an audience, and if we just hear it going by over our heads, it's gone before we actually have actually noticed it. Yeah. It's for you. Your job is partly to say, now just watch what I'm going to do with this one. I'll just make you. <laughs> and you say, oh, now I noticed. <laughs> now I notice. Otherwise, it's gone. <laughs> Let's go Give me several versions. That's the return of Inchitor one, yes. Yeah, no, but play. You know, the, you, you need to do these things to find out. It, there is not just one established way of doing this. There's, it, you know, what we do, basically, there are several singers and performers in this building now. We're all children. And we just paid to play. That's the only difference between the children and us. The children do it for free, gladly. We don't. We do it only when we've signed a piece of paper and we get paid for it. But it's still play. Yeah. So play with the phrases. Yeah. That's all that we have to do. Give it a try. Just give, you know, kick around a few versions. I like that one. Anything? There's a, there's a crescendo marked on it as well, but it isn't, it's not as big as the one that you gave me first. <laughs> We've dismissed that one. And that one was good. Now give it a little warmth as it goes up there. Okay. 
rather than rather than think of that A as being the top of the phrase, uh, can you just turn it into the rest of it because yeah. it's sticking out sticking at the moment? Yeah. So that it's the way forward to something else, okay. uh, and you just happen to have to go through that high mountain pass to get to there, yeah. to that other place. Yeah. It, you're singling it out at the moment. It's easily within your compass, but it just is. is it just doesn't quite match up to the rest of the. The golfs, the golf clubs, yeah. <laughs> is one of my analogies. <laughs> Chess set is better. Uh, Low du lac. <laughs> Yeah, you, you seem to stop on the air. So that we go right through it and beyond. What is the text? Du ciel. Yeah. Right, right across it and right beyond it so that we incorporate the whole phrase. Okay. Start again. Start again. Give yourself a proper start. Can you, can you cause the souris to happen at that moment? He's souris. You, we, we need to see that happen. And I'll hear it. I wasn't looking at, at looking at you at that moment. I didn't feel it. Okay. At that particular moment, I didn't look at you, and I, there wasn't a smile in the sound. It needs to be in the sound. Qui souris. Qui souris. Le chagrin. Yeah? And can we, I'd love to hear more of sombre. Oh, yeah. It's onomatopoeic. If ever there's a word that was onomatopoeic, it's that. So it really needs closing down. You can use the M of it as well a little bit. We, it, we, what we should feel is uh, 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 that we're not quite sure whether using the M or not. It's not sombre, clearly, as it is in English. Sombre, but somewhere the M effect is in there yeah. with the closure of the, of the vowel. Okay. Sombre. We never actually hear the M, but the sound itself is that of an M affecting an O. Does that sound crazy? But that's what's happening. Uh, Kisuri! Can we pick it up from Kisuri? Kisuri! out of curiosity, I know I, I, I apologize for saying sombre before, it's sonombre, I realize. Uh, but au nom de ces montagnes douces, can we, let's, he doesn't mark any specific dynamic on this, unless you understand, uh, understand anything that I, that I haven't got. Can we take it uh, as almost a, a reflection of something that you might have said before, so that we really take the, the dynamic down? Oh, yeah. Give it a try. Yeah. I mean, it still has to be present, but uh, uh, down from where we have been. Yeah. 
So um, would you mind, uh, Ian, if you could just give us that bar into the bar of Oulon, please. I mean, by then you, you start coming out again, but it's lovely to start there with that just a shadow of what you sang before. Yeah. You know, it's just the it's ju it's just the leftovers. Can we do it again? And then emerge from it in the at the, at the, at the appropriate moment, yeah. which was where we where we reached. Okay. Give us that bar again, if you wouldn't mind, Ian. should leave it there, but I won't. <laughs> only this last one. Would you, can you separate Ariel for the, only for this one? I, 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 I don't hear Ariel terribly clearly throughout the song. I'd love to hear it just once clearly yeah. and separate Ariel out. Yeah. Can we? Can you try it on this one? So you've done de Ariel, so th only the, that once. Yeah, sure. You can get away with it for the rest of it, perhaps, but I'd love to hear that one. So pick it up from uh, the D, Diandra, can we? <laughs> as easy as that, from the C to the B flat. Ah, um, and again, just place it. So, uh, I, I think that's something that can happen between the two of you, so that you just, you know, we have that, that gradual settling down. It happened almost by accident. I just feel you could, you could just liaise that one together a little more. Terrific. Well done. <laughs>